Right, so with the current situation, any of us who can work from home should be working from home. So I thought that I would share with you how I do maths tutoring from home online. So I've been doing one-on-one um, -on -one maths tutoring for a few years now. And just in the, in the past couple years, I've uh, gone from um, in-person meeting with my students to doing it completely online. Um, so I've had a few years to, to experiment with um, what works and what doesn't. So this is mostly a video for uh, tutors and teachers and students who want to switch to online tutoring, but also for businesses who make online whiteboard software, because um, I want to talk a lot about the, the kind of features that I would like out of that as a maths tutor. All right, let's start with how is the student going to see what the tutor is writing. So my preferred method is to get a laptop with a built-in stylus. So um, this is the, the stylus that came with my laptop. And this is uh, slightly easier, like more comfortable to hold stylus that is also compatible with it. Um, so those are great. Um, you can get like secondhand laptops that would come with a stylus for like a few hundred dollars if you're not too worried about it being very fast. Um, so that's an option for some people. If you don't want to buy a whole new laptop, you can get one of these USB tablet things. This is a, a Wacom tablet. Um, and you know, it's, it's okay. I find it a little bit confusing to use because like I never know. Um, I don't know. It's more confusing, I think, than the laptops with the built-in stylus because with the laptop you're writing directly on the screen so like you know the lines appear where your pen actually is whereas with this I find it slightly confusing because I'm doing this over here and that stuff is happening on the screen over here. Anyway um, that's an option as well. Another option is if you already have um, a, a tablet or a phone with a large touch screen then you can get um, these little cheap universal styluses, I guess they're called, where they have just like this thing that works with most touch screens. So um, you can do that, although it's it's not great, I have to say. It's it does it does okay in a pinch. It's just um yeah. You can see my writing's a lot messier with that than uh, with the other methods. And if none of those methods uh, appeal to you, then you can always, um, if you've got an external webcam that, that connects to your computer over USB, what you can do is take that and like attach it to a desk lamp or something uh, like the situation I have here and, you know, have it pointing down at your desk so you can, you know, you can write whatever and your student can see it over video chat. Now I've listed that method last because it will take up a lot more bandwidth than using an online whiteboard with a stylus. So it's not great if your internet connection or your students internet connection might be a bit spotty because um, there's going to be more of a lag. Now you might be wondering, do both the student and the tutor need a way of writing? But um, well initially what I did was I gave all my students webcams, USB webcams, so that they could uh, set that camera up and, and be writing in a, in a notebook. Um, but none of them, well, hardly any of them could be bothered actually setting it up each time because um, it's a bit of a, it's a bit annoying. Um, so what happened was just that I would be writing on uh, an online whiteboard with my stylus. And usually what would happen is like they would be talking me through how they would do a maths problem and I'd be like writing on the screen at, at the same time, writing down what they were saying. Um, and that works fine. And then like if there's anything that they need to draw, like, like a diagram or something, then they would just do that with their mouse on the, on the online whiteboard. All right, so let's talk about online whiteboards. This is one example of a free online whiteboard. It's at groupboard.com. Um, there are others available. Um, and you know, this is fine. You can, uh, you can write on this and then your student can see what you're writing, which is really all you need for maths tutoring. Um, so that's great. 
Um, now, I mostly want to spend the rest of this video talking about what I think could be improved with online whiteboards, at least where it comes to uh, for, for maths tutoring specifically, because there were a few things that I didn't like um, when I tried this out, and I actually ended up writing my own software um, for an online whiteboard. And actually, I'll show you I'll show you the software I wrote after, and I've put it on GitHub so you can use it if you want. I don't, I really don't think anyone will actually want to use it because it's a bit complicated to install. But anyway, um, let me just tell you what I didn't like about Groupboard. So one of the things I didn't like was there is no indication that the student's screen ends like here so you know I'd be sort of you know writing stuff out here and they wouldn't be able to see it and there's just no indication of that so when I wrote my software um, I wanted it to show the extent of the other person's screen um, another thing I didn't like was how many clicks it takes to paste an image in like let me just show you how many clicks this takes so one uh, two three, four, um, just pick an image, five, six, and then close, and then, then you get an image in there, eventually. Uh, and now that's quite annoying for me because I tend to, you know, paste images in like all the time throughout my, my lessons because um, usually it's that my student has sent me like a, a screenshot or a photo of a bunch of questions that, that they want to work through. So I want to have them like up on the, on the whiteboard as we're working through them, particularly if there's diagrams that we want to be like drawing on and stuff. So, um, yeah, I found that really irritating, the number of clicks it takes to get an image in. The other thing that I found annoying was that, you know, sometimes that there are delays with the internet, you know, sometimes messages get lost or whatever. And, um... So, you know, I would, I would write something and then start talking about it. And then my student would be like, what are you talking about? I don't see anything. So like, there was no indication of when the student has actually received the message. It's being quite fast at the moment. You can see like when I'm, when I'm writing on this, it's, it's getting over here quite quickly, but you know, sometimes there are delays. So I found that quite annoying that like, I don't know when the message has gotten to my student's screen. Um, yeah, so I wanted to improve on that when I wrote my online whiteboard. Now, another feature that I think would be really useful is that um, a lot of the time in maths, tr maths tutoring, you want to like just point to something and say, you know, this thing here, like you might have a, a triangle and you want to say, you know, like this point or something. And again, you can't see that on that screen, which is annoying. Or you might have an equation and you want to be like, you know, this coefficient in the equation. So I found that throughout um, the tutoring sessions, I'd be, you know, drawing arrows everywhere and then I'd have to go in and erase them. Um, and it's just like, I really wanted just a temporary way to highlight something. And also sometimes if there's a lot of writing on the screen um, and the student doesn't notice the arrow being drawn, they may not actually spot the arrow amongst everything. So I wanted a way to really highlight that thing to to make it flash or have it in a different color or something. So yeah, I wanted like a, a temporary way of highlighting something on the screen. One other thing was that I didn't like the, the style of arrays they have. Um, when I array stuff like in, in Photoshop or whatever, what I usually do is get the lasso tool and like draw, you know, select around the thing I want to erase and then I delete it. You know, that's much easier than, um, than coming in and like drawing, well, it's kind of the same for this little triangle, but for something bigger where you've got like a bunch of, you know, stuff written and you want to like erase the whole thing, it's much easier just to like lasso around it and get rid of it. So I wanted to have that style of erase. Um, and then the other thing that that I didn't quite like about Groupboard and, and other similar online whiteboards was that um, all the communication is presumably going through some server in some other country. So there's quite a bit more lag than there would need to be if the connection was directly between my 
my computer and my students' computer. So I wanted to have a way to just like have a direct connection so that, um, so that the communication would be much quicker. All right, so this is the online whiteboard software that I've written. I'm calling it WebSketch for now. Uh, let me just show you what happens if I connect to it with my phone. So it's drawn this dashed line here so that I can see where the edge um, of my student's screen is. So I know that if I'm writing within here, they can see it, and if I write out here, they can't. So that's also really useful because usually what I do is, um, you know, we'll be working through questions and I'll be kind of like working out the answers in advance. So I'll be like writing stuff out here. Um, you yeah. know, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's really useful for me. Um, now, another thing you might notice with this is that when I draw anything, it is initially gray and then when it ends up on the phone, it turns black. So, and that's sort of to indicate to me when the student has received that message. So I find that really useful because so often you get these delays with the internet where, you know, I'll be drawing something and they can't see it yet. So it's really good to, to know when they can see it. Let me show you the arrays thing. So I made a lasso style arrays where I just select around stuff and then it disappears. Oh, and there's also um, an indication there of when they receive the arrays message because it goes like partially, just partially erased um, until until they acknowledge that they've received it. So you probably won't be able to tell because the internet's being very fast right now, but uh, this black line will go partially gray and then will disappear. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, yeah, so I find that much more convenient. Like if I've written a bunch of stuff over here and I don't want to like clear the entire screen, I just want to get rid of this. It's much easier to just lasso that rather than to get an erase tool like there was in group board and like go over everything. And let me show you how easy it is to paste images in. Like let's say I want, um, we want to go over this question. So what I do is I just take a screenshot of just that part. Um, and then if I go over here and I middle click, it just pastes in the last screenshot taken. Oh, and you might have noticed that little dashed line that appeared around there. That again is to show that um, the client hasn't received that picture yet. So that disappears once that message gets to them. And I've also added a highlight mode. So if I want to say like, you know, you see this term here, I can just select that and then on their screen it flashes. Or if I want to say, you know, see this negative here, yeah. Um, and then it's just a temporary thing and then when I go out of highlight mode again it disappears. So I find that so useful. I use that all the time because yeah just in maths all the time you want to be like hey you see this thing here and yeah. There really needs to be an easy way to do that in online whiteboards. Oh, and all the communication between my computer and my phone here is going through web sockets, meaning that it's a direct connection between the phone and the computer and like not going through um, a server, you know, that might be on the other side of the world. The initial connection is set up by the server, but then from then on, all the communication is going directly between these two, which makes it much faster. Like there's, I mean, you saw there's virtually no lag at all. Um, and, but that is unfortunately also what makes this quite hard to install for most people. I, I really don't think that anyone's going to want to use the software that I wrote. Um, and like, I, I'm not making this video to sort of try to bad mouth the, uh, other online whiteboard software that's out there because I'm sure their product is much, much better than mine. I mean, I'm not trying to like sell this or anything. Um, yeah, I don't think that if you were making an online whiteboard that to use for lots of people, you wouldn't want to do it through WebSockets, but just, you know, for my own personal use, that's what I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to use my software, I have uploaded it. I'll put a link in the description. 
but I think most people are going to want to stick to um, things like group board or I'm not sure what other alternatives are, are out there. I might, um, if I find any, I'll put some links in. Um, and if anyone else has has found some online whiteboard software that they really like, then let me know in the comments.